Well, good morning. It is Monday, June 22nd. I hope you had a great weekend. It was a beautiful weekend where we were, um, but I hope you also have a great week. As we begin this week, in the name of our triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, you know, this week I decided I would do something a little different. I guess sometimes I need to challenge myself just to keep myself distracted with good things. So I asked my my wife to uh, challenge me with Bible passages that I could then do a devotion on each day of this week. And so last night, she, uh, at the very, when we were about to uh, get to sleep, she said, how about Psalm 56, verse 3? And of course, I couldn't go to sleep then, so I checked out Psalm 56, verses 3 and 4. Uh, and I'll tell you what, let me read them to you right away. I'm going to put on my readers again and just share with you the verses that we're going to focus on. It says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. And God, whose word I praise, and God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? It's actually a great passage that's within a psalm that was written by King David when he was surrounded by Philistines. Well, he wasn't really surrounded in the way that we normally would think. Really what the situation entails in this case is that David is once again being uh, chased down by the first king of Israel, Saul. Um, Saul wanted to get rid of David, especially after David, as was known to Saul, was going to be the next king. And David flees, but this time he flees to Gath, which is where the Philistines are. Now, if you remember from your Bible history, uh, the Philistines are those who David fought uh, with Goliath and all those folks when he was younger. And, and as he paraded into, uh, back into town, uh, people said, you know, Saul has slain his thousands, but David, so many more. And so David was very well known for conquering Goliath and, and conquering the Philistines, or at least in that case, in that, uh, that battle. Uh, but now David has to flee to the region of Gath where the Philistines are, and the Philistine king, Achish, uh, is now confronted with this man, David, and he says, isn't this the one who did all those things? And of course, the people are are reminding him that he did. It's an interesting scenario that you find in 1 Samuel chapter 21, beginning at verse 10, because David, what he does is he acts like a wild man, like a crazy man. He begins to drool. He starts to scrape on walls and on, on the gates and everything else to, to make it look like he has just gone completely, completely insane. And, and it actually works. <laughs> That's the great thing. I love those Bible accounts because they remind us that even people like David, they were so normal. They were so much like us. But what it also reminds us of is that when it comes to fear, David knew what fear was all about. He had so many days in his life where he uh, had fear that was so real, whether it was because of the surrounding enemies like the Philistines or because of his own king, Saul, who wanted him dead, uh, or many others. If you read the accounts of David in First and Second Samuel, First Kings, First Chronicles, you're going to find so many things about David uh, that are very interesting, but do reveal that this is a man that would understand uh, most, if not all, of what you and I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll tell you this, David would have understood 2020, right? All the craziness of 2020, he would have understood what that is all about, at least in his own way. And yet, what does David do? Okay. Time and time again, what does he do? In this case, he writes a psalm. A song of praise to God in this in this particular psalm asking once again for God's mercy so let me read that to you again now that you know the circumstances and the surrounding uh, events in David's life there I'll start at verse 1 this time he says be merciful to me O God for men hotly pursue me all day long they press their attack my slanderers pursue me all day long many are attacking me in their pride when I am afraid I will trust in you, in God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? I would encourage you to check out Psalm 56 and read it for yourself, because I think that's a psalm that's very appropriate for us today and in the days ahead, especially in regard to all the fears that are very personal to each and every one of us, those fears that are real that we face in our lives, no matter what they are. And God will hear our prayers. You can be absolutely certain about that. Now, 
Does God always take away all those things that surround us? I'm not going to tell you that he'll do that. But we can still pray the prayer that David prayed with confidence. We can say, we can praise God. We can praise him for the word that he's given us. And we can certainly trust in him in all things. Because I want you to do this today. When you think of God, don't think of him as a distant God. Remember him as Jesus Christ. That's who he has revealed himself to us to be. And in Jesus, we do see a merciful, loving father. We see the most caring, compassionate person that ever walked the earth. You know, I'm just going to throw this out. I find it interesting in our world that in so many ways, we see that people are now looking for someone who is perfect. They expect perfection. Whether they say it or not, they expect perfection. And yet it's sad to me that they still won't look to Jesus but not you. Continue to look to Jesus, trust in him, no matter what's going on, and cry out to him. Cry out that prayer again from Psalm chapter 56, 3 and 4. When I am afraid, I'll trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? We have every reason to trust in Jesus. Let's go to him in prayer. Lord Jesus, there are so many things in our lives that um, cause us to be afraid. Just as was the case with your servant, David, it's true with us as well. There are so many surrounding events, so many things that are going on very personally, so many uncertainties that can cause all kinds of fear. But Lord, help us to cry out to you for mercy and help us to always cry out, I will trust in you. For you are our God, and you have revealed yourself in the person of Jesus Christ, which is the perfect example of love, of mercy, of grace, and of hope. Go with us this day, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God's blessings to you this day and in the week ahead.